You're listening to Mana for the Day. Happy Resurrection Sunday, everybody. I want to start this devotion with a question. What do you really know about Resurrection Sunday? Why do people all over the world look forward and prepare for the Holy Week? Is it because it's the yearly time of penitence and sacrifice? Is it the time of the year for repentance and to ask for forgiveness? Or is it because it's a time to go for a long weekend at the beach or go on vacation? In Cebu, where I am from, there is a town there that is known for their penitence. Volunteers who feel their sins will be forgiven by reenacting the crucifixion of Jesus. In the same way, many would walk miles, would go fasting or give up life's comfort to be like Jesus at the time he walked carrying the cross to Golgotha and nailed to the cross. Some of us think that if we do these, we take part in Jesus' suffering. And by this action, God will see the sincerity of our repentance and sins will be forgiven. I believed in these notions when I was growing up. But when I started reading the Bible, which holds all truths because it is the Word of God, I now have a new and clear understanding of the Holy Week. Yes, it is a time we remember Christ's suffering and crucifixion. But why do we call it Good Friday? I once had a conversation with my family, and one of my brothers sincerely asked, Why do we call it Good Friday, when this is the day Jesus died on the cross? Is it supposed to be called Bad or Sad Friday? And I realized it was, in fact, a valid and sincere question and remark that most people do not really know about and do not even dare ask. Like me, I know what Good Friday is, but it never even occurred to me to clarify to anyone why is it called good, because no one asked, and good thing my brother did. Good Friday is called good because it is the day that God himself, Jesus Christ, suffered the most horrible and painful death ever known in the history of time. He did this for us. For those who truly know Jesus and have a personal relationship with him, we are saved because of what he has done on the cross. Skeptics would say, well, he is God, so it wasn't all that hard and painful. And yes, he is fully God and fully man. Hence, as fully man, he felt every ounce of pain there was from the flogging all the way to his death by crucifixion on the cross. The cross means a lot. It is a reminder that we are saved from the fires and sufferings of hell. And this is all made possible by Jesus Christ. That is why it is called Good Friday. It was God who paid for our sins. In Cebuano, we would call it Gitubos sa among mga sala. No amount of fasting or self-inflicted sufferings can ever redeem us from our sins. Only the blood of Jesus. So after understanding all that, Jesus Christ died for us, we now have an idea why it is called Resurrection Sunday. Jesus Christ did not stay dead, but was resurrected the next Sunday. Now let us briefly talk about another misconception, the misconception on the Resurrection Sunday. Why is it called Easter Sunday? I did a research and found out that the name Easter was drawn from the pagan god Easter, but spelled as E-O-S-T-R-E. During springtime, the pagans would celebrate this deity with a festival. Easter was the pagan goddess of spring and fertility, and such did the festival and season follow. In early Christianity, the Easter festival occurred around the same time as the Passover. In efforts to draw more pagans to Christianity, church officials decided to embrace some of pagan customs and the eggs also came about as a symbol of the pagan worship that symbolizes fertility and renewal so as the rabbits the yoke was said to represent christ's emergence from the tomb all we know about easter the rabbits and the eggs has nothing to do with jesus resurrection it was about easter which is spelled E-O-S-T-R-E, the pagan goddess. I am sharing this information because as I was also growing up, 
I had that nagging question deep down inside, but I just ignore it. But now that I know, I want to share this to those who want to know the real definition of Easter Sunday and to those who want to know the true meaning of Resurrection Sunday. Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday are as important as Christmas Day because these remind us that Jesus Christ God himself came to the world to save us from our sins. Jesus died and was raised again. This means a lot to us because his resurrection proves that he indeed is God. So this is why we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. We thank Jesus for what he has done on the cross. He died for you and me. Let us not belittle it with rabbits and eggs. I do not have any issues on how each of us celebrate the Holy Week, but to us who claims to be Christians, that Jesus is God, I pray to God that He would prompt each one to open their Bibles, to know more about God. Let us know God for ourselves, personally. In John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I praise you, Lord, and thank you, God, for what you have done 2,000 years ago. You sent Jesus to suffer and die on my behalf. If not for him, there will be no heaven for me. There will only be hell. Father, I pray that those who are listening to this, that it would spark a need, a seeking, to want to know you more. Reveal yourself to them, O Lord. This is my prayer with hope and thanksgiving. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with our Christian Fellowship.